السلام عليكم The vocal folds closure pattern The mod of the vocal folds contact Can modify the voice And other laryngeal functions Vocal folds contact waveform Can be captured and registered by electroglottography Understanding the factors that can influence and modulate the contact mode would be uh, useful in the analysis of the results of the electroglottography and other things including the glottal area waveform with its open and closed phases and the glottal flow waveform um, with its time derivative and also the voice uh, source spectrum with the spectrum of low frequencies and high frequencies portions. The vocal fold depth, particularly of the medial ends and the contact mode of these medial ends can modulate the vocal fold vibration frequency, the F0. This F0 can be increased by the increase of the extent and the duration of the vocal folds contact and also by increasing the depth of the contact, the depth of the medial ends of the adducted vocal folds. So what are the factors that this vocal fold contact pattern depends on? Primarily the degree of the vocal fold approximation by the adductors, the glottal channel geometry, its extent, its depth and the duration of the contact, the subglottic pressure and the vocal folds intrinsic stiffness during adduction. Changes in any of these parameters can influence the uh, fundamental frequency by affecting the vocal fold contact mode. The other contribution of the lateral cricoarytenoid and the interarytenoidus is that they increase the extent and the duration of the vocal fold contact during vibration, uh, particularly with increasing subglottic pressure. Uh, this uh, longer contact and uh, more deep contact of the vibrating vocal folds would lead to an increase in the fundamental frequency. And finally, uh, these two muscles, the cricothyroid and the thyroarytenoidus, can also change the glottal geometry, the configuration of the glottal uh, canal during phonation, the mode of contact of the two vocal folds. The cricothyroid muscle would stretch the vocal folds and reduces the vertical thickness of the vocal folds medial edges, uh, whereas the activation of the thyroarytenoidus muscle would do the opposite. It would increase the vertical thickness of the vocal fold medial edge and also help in the medial bulge of the inferior part of the vocal fold uh, medial edge during phonation. Uh, the action of the thyroarytenoidus here would help with a better and a longer uh, contact mode of the two vocal folds whereas thinning and stretching of the vocal fold edges by the cricothyroid would do the opposite. The glottic closed phase during phonation is regulated by the vertical phase difference in the vocal folds medial surface. This difference in the pace of the inferior and the superior ends of the vocal folds, the medial ends, of the adducted vocal folds is termed the vertical phase difference. It being non-zero provides asymmetry in the pressure and in the intraglottic pressure inside the uh, glottic channel during phonation and this is essential in the maintaining of self-draining uh, driven oscillation. The phase difference between the inferior and the superior parts of the medial end of the vocal folds is affected by the vertical thickness 
of the uh, adducted vocal folds uh, and also the medial bulge of the inferior portion of the vocal folds during phonation. When the medial ends of the adducted vocal folds are thin, uh, they can be easily pushed apart by the subglottal pressure. As a result, the glottis may never completely closes during vibration, uh, producing a weak and breathy voice. On the other hand, increasing the vertical thickness of the medial ends of the vocal folds during phonation provides a better uh, closure that can resist the glottis opening effect of the uh, subglottal pressure. Uh, also, increasing the th thickness would increase the phase difference in the pace between the inferior part and the superior parts of the medial ends of the vocal folds, and this would produce a longer closed phase of the vibratory cycle. And finally, the other way the vocal fold stiffness can modulate and adjust the voice produced by the vocal fold is through the effect of the anisotropic stiffness on the glottal closure. The anisotropic stiffness of the vocal fold optimizes the way the vocal folds closes during uh, phonation. The way the uh, fibers are aligned in the anteroposterior direction improves the glottal closure, and also the way the lamina propria has these fibers is between the core of the vocal fold, the muscular part, and the surface. The superficial uh, position of the aligned fibers also improves the vocal fold glottal closure. Even the epithelial layer, the envelope of the vocal fold, the stiffness of this uh, epithelial envelope also improves the glottal closure and um, improves the duration of the glottic closure and allows vibration for a considerably longer closed period. Because of this nonlinearity and the vocal folds um, stiffness, the increase in the high subglottic pressure can actually increase the vocal fold stiffness. The increased vibration amplitude uh, driven by the high subglottic pressure would lead to an increase in the stiffness of the vocal folds and also the fundamental frequency. So this combined effect of the contact mode of the vocal folds and the uh, nonlinearity of the vocal fold stiffness can lead to an increase of about 40 hertz and the fundamental frequency of the subglottic pressure is increased. And to add to this, the collision force during adduction between the medial ends of the vocal folds can also increase the vocal folds stiffness. The vocal fold collision force appears as an additional restoring force. This additional force can significantly increase the stiffness of the adducted vocal folds and thus the fundamental frequency. We've been through the factors that regulates and modifies the vocal fold contact pattern and the, and the vocal folds contact wave form, starting with the laryngeal adductors and the muscles uh, affecting the geometry of the glottal canal during phonation and passing through the effect of the subglottic pressure and the intrinsic vocal fold stiffness properties, including its nonlinearity and it is an isotropic property. Salaamu Alaikum.